first like let me just give you like a quick disclaimer because I'm making this video but like I don't necessarily always feel like this like in my mind I'm like well forget you like this is my life I don't have to explain anything to you, you don't have to understand What's up you guys, it's Adana. I am back with another video for you guys. So you guys, um, I got this comment on one of my Q and A's and I was like, oh man, that's so sad. So I wanted to kind of make a video about it. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Uh, someone left a comment and they were talking about their dad and how their father just didn't understand. And guys, sometimes parents just don't understand like that old, <laughs> that old Will Smith song. So to you other kids all across the land, you parents just don't understand parents just don't understand and not just parents but friends and family they may not always get why you want to switch careers or why you want to become a PA instead of being a physician or an NP or a nurse or a chef whatever it is that the path that you may have been on before before you decided to become a PA or you were thinking about I'm gonna read the comments so you guys just get a little bit more background information and then we'll go from there Bless you for this video. I'm far from being a PA. However, I did have a question for you. My father and I were discussing my, our future plans, and it came up that I wanted to be a physician assistant. He looked at me a bit funny. He said, and I quote, Son, you should just go ahead and become a doctor. But that's just not my aspirations. I like the flexibility and it's the perfect amount of school for me, but he doesn't understand that. How do I give him a little more insight about being a PA? Thank you for your input. Okay, so how do you give him a little bit more insight? Well, first off, you know, hopefully your dad is like open and willing to listen and um, just anybody that may be dealing with just try with this, trying to get people to understand why you wanna do what you wanna do. First, like, let me just give you like a quick disclaimer because I'm making this video, but like, I don't necessarily always feel like this. Like in my mind, I'm like, well, Forget you, like, this is my life. I don't have to explain anything to you. You don't have to understand because you're not the one that's living this life. I'm living it because I wanna be a PA. However, that's like the petty Adana coming out, right? So when you're trying to get people on board with you, you explain things. So you can just be like, dad, look, you know, it really, where I'm at in my life, like I don't wanna be in school for another four to eight plus years if I'm trying to be a physician. And honestly, I would like to spend a lot more time for myself. I want the flexibility that a PA gets. I wanna be able to move laterally from field to field. Um, you can explain that to whoever it is that doesn't understand what exactly a PA does. You can send them to APA. Dot org that has a lot of information about the PA profession, but even if you don't necessarily wanna send them places so that they're doing research, you yourself can go to aapa.org and you can find that information out and then you can bring it to them. You know, there was this, I can't, I don't remember what it was, maybe it was a show or something, or maybe I dreamed it up, but there was this thing where it's like, as long as you come as prepared as possible, like if you come, which like you want a biz, you want somebody to invest in you right so you come with your business plan you come with everything and you possibly think about whatever you could possibly think that they would be asking you questions on you come with that you have that written down all the information so when they're like well what about this you can just go bam here it is and it's the same thing when you're trying to explain like hey, this is what I wanna do with my life. So you can go do the research yourself and then bring that information to your father, your friend, your family member, whoever it is. And you can say, hey, you know, like I, it really kind of hurt my feelings or it bothered me a little that you first off kind of demeaned what I was saying by saying, why don't you go ahead and just be a doctor? Well, that's not what I wanna be. If I wanted to be a physician, that's what I would do. I would go ahead and get my MD, but that's not where I wanna go in my life. I wanna be a PA because 
these are the reasons why. And so you explain that out as much as you possibly can. Send them to my channel. Say, come watch this girl who's on her way to PA school, who's in PA school and on her way to becoming a PA and see the enthusiasm that she has and the things that she's dealing with and the things that she's learning. You can bring them on over to this channel and help them see what it is like while you're going through PA school and the possibilities that the PA career holds for um, everyone that's in it currently. And it's only going to get better. You can send them to other people's YouTube channels as well. And then also Instagram has a really good PA community. But after you've done all of that research and you've done all of that educating, if they still don't understand, hopefully you can just have the heart to heart and be like, well, you know, I understand that you may not understand exactly why I would like to be a PA and that doesn't necessarily make sense to you, but this is what I really wanna do with my life. And I don't feel like it's gonna be a detriment. It's not something that I'm gonna regret in the future. Come with all of the reasons why you wanna be a PA. Make it so more personal to you and this is what it is as opposed to making it about the the career and then hopefully you know they're your parents they're your family members hopefully they're just supportive and they love you and they're gonna be supportive as possible if they're not then that sucks and then you're gonna have to sit up here and make the decision for yourself on how you want to move forward with you becoming a PA and that being the path that you want to pursue and how you will now quantify that and meld it with your family or friend life because you don't want extra added stress on yourself so those are that's really kind of what you got to do you explain educate 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 I'm still educating people you guys like I'm still educating people in my life right now like what's a PA well I mean a PA is a physician assistant it's what I'm trying to do with my career like I had this channel and you guys still don't know what a PA is you know things like that you're constantly going to be like no it's not a doctor I'm a PA these are the things that I do but don't worry about that. Our, our time will come soon when it's widely known, but you just educate as much as you can. And then after you've done all that educating, okay, after you've done that, if they still don't understand, bring it back around for full circle to you. Say, this is what I really believe. This is how I feel. I just hope you can respect that and then keep it moving. You know, that's all you can do. But hopefully this has helped. Um, hopefully maybe you can even share this video with your dad or your family member that may be not understanding exactly how you feel as just an added tool and then you guys can like all be happy <laughs> about you becoming a PA or wanting to be a PA in the future. All right, well thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so much for subscribing if you've already done so and if you haven't, go ahead and do that now and follow me on Instagram at PA. Thank you, I will talk to you guys next time.